Hey, what's going on guys? So I wanted to just make a quick video, um, you know, talking about this YouTube drama stuff that's been going on. I know uh, I'm a little bit late to the party, but I know Matthew Santoro just uploaded a video, I think yesterday, uh, talking about YouTube drama. So there's still people talking about it and I just wanted to quickly address it. Um, obviously I'm a nobody on YouTube, but I just wanted to, you know, give my opinion on the topic, seeing as how it's the trendy thing to talk about. And maybe you guys, you know, have opinions of your own and you want to share them in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, so if you guys don't know, if you haven't been, you know, keeping up, if you don't keep up with YouTube drama, if you're one of the few who don't or whatever, um, basically there a few days ago, uh, PewDiePie, KSI, and, um, Markiplier, I believe, uploaded videos, and this started with PewDiePie, uh, uploaded videos talking about YouTube drama, how it's, uh, a cancer to the YouTube community, um, and how it's, uh, you know, it's awful that there's you know channels that are dedicated to drama and uh, dedicated to you know basically attacking people uh, on YouTube and we should be you know one big community and instead drama is pulling people apart and obviously you know names weren't called or anything but he was talking about drama alert I mean that is the biggest YouTube drama channel out there uh, and they basically pioneered the way you know Keemstar pioneered the way for all the other people like Scarce and whoever else is copying him um, you know and so basically he was calling Keemstar out essentially and on top of that then you have Markiplier and you have you know KSI calling out uh, well KSI called out PewDiePie saying you're a hypocrite for uploading the video you know you uploading that video makes more drama you're the biggest youtuber out there and you just cause drama by uploading it there's nothing wrong with YouTube if you don't acknowledge you know drama whatever uh, and Markiplier was pretty much on the side of PewDiePie saying like you know YouTube is changing all this uh, and all that whatever you guys can go watch the videos for yourselves I'm sure you've probably seen them um, and then literally everybody started making responses to uh, this whole YouTube drama thing, Chaos X Silencer, just literally everybody uh, has been talking about it, and I wanted to give my opinion on YouTube drama. Um, personally, I think it's totally fine. I don't think that there's a problem with it. Uh, a lot of people hate Keemstar. A lot of people love to hate Keemstar, uh, and that's fine. He's done a lot of things in his career. A lot of things are questionable, uh, and I don't agree with some of the stuff that he's done, but ultimately he is a is a uh he's very big in the call of duty community and in the gaming community in general he's been around forever um and he just keeps coming back he keeps coming back with new things you know he had the bad kid cast and he had fag uh, and all these things you know all these uh channels and you know clans and whatever trolling and all this stuff uh, he's been around forever and i i enjoyed the guy's work yes some of the stuff is questionable some of the things that he's done and said whatever everyone has a past who cares um but i don't think there's anything wrong with the drama there is drama on youtube regardless there are things that are happening on youtube uh that are going to happen regardless of whether or not keemstar came about you know people think that keemstar is the cause of drama um when in reality he wouldn't have a he wouldn't have a channel if there wasn't already drama to report you, you understand that you know he, he can't just make up all of these things and build up a channel based off of of lies that would be you know a lot of people think that's what's happening but that would be such an such an intricate you know uh, impossible task to pull off considering how much fact checking he does and how deep he digs into all these stories you know the fact that he goes into all these stories and finds facts and reports on them and then it turns out to be actually true you know this drama was not created by him it was not manifested by him uh, his presence does not cause drama it, it might cause additional drama like it is now by people calling him out on the on it or whatever but uh, the original drama the original you know things that happen on YouTube those things have been happening uh, they, they are going to keep happening and you know it, that's just how it is so to have one channel in one place that you can go to to find out hey you know what's going on in this community that I'm so devoted to uh, you can find out you know if there are you know rape scandals or or uh, child pornography scandals or, or whatever things that have actually happened for real in the YouTube community that we might not know about if it weren't for Keemstar reporting on it and I think that's incredibly important because if it saves you know 
kids little kids being a fan of a, of a particular uh, content creator you know if it, if it turns out that that content creator uh, is a rapist or, or whatever like you know uh, does sketchy things in the background um, we should have someone policing these channels um, to make sure that they become or that they are reputable good honest people because I wouldn't want my kids uh, you know, supporting and watching the channel of a of a person that you know gets off to child pornography or you know has relationships with 15 year olds when they're 23 or whatever. Um, you know that kind of stuff is is sketchy. Uh, and I'm not referencing any one person in particular. Um, if you guys have followed drama, let you know about all of these different uh, things that have come out. Um, you know, especially in the Minecraft community. So all of these things that he's reported on that have been factually true, and I think that's the part that needs to be emphasized, you know, if these things were not true, if they were not factual, then I would hate Keemstar because he's then he would be creating drama by making lies about people. The fact that he's coming out with these videos that are very well fact-checked and researched, and he comes out with them and they're true, that means he's not creating the drama he's simply reporting it and, and there's nothing wrong with that um and on top of that you know the, the petty drama the bullshit drama you know the drama like the scump and ken stuff you know that stuff isn't a big deal no one's getting raped no one's getting you know molested or, or whatever there's nothing bad going on there that's just typical celebrity drama you know that's petty celebrity drama you know you go to the supermarket and you see tabloids about this is dating this person or this person got this surgery or whatever you know stupid stuff like that that's all that is you know petty drama is just gonna happen i mean yes okay maybe uh he shouldn't report on scump and Ken's breaking up because that's their personal life and you know you know don't draw attention to someone else's problems you have nothing to do with it it's not blah 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 whatever but the thing is people want to know and it is entertaining and he's gonna do what people want to see you know if people didn't like to hear about uh, relationship drama or, or whatever people wouldn't tune into him and thus he would no longer make those videos because they don't do well so the fact that it exists is not Keemstar's fault uh, he simply you know uh, reports on something that happens and people like to know about it and they watch it and there's nothing wrong with that it's entertainment you know uh, that's the whole thing that's this whole YouTube thing is to just be entertaining and people find drama entertaining and whether or not you think it's moral or ethical drama is up to you and you can decide personally whether or not you want to watch it but regardless it is entertaining and people want to see it and therefore it's going to happen whether or not Kinza reports on it or scarce or whoever someone is going to fill that void and it's going to happen it is inevitable um, because not everybody on this channel hates drama I find it entertaining I watch drama alert I want to know who's dating who or whatever you know I mean it's not that big of a deal you know and I don't follow it religiously but you know maybe once every two weeks or three weeks I'll go through and watch two or three Keemstar videos just catch up see what's been happening who knows you know and like I said this is not a YouTube specific thing this has been going on with TMZ and you know the whole celebrity thing for ever for literally forever you know it's always been a thing uh, for Hollywood so the fact that it's coming to YouTube is not surprising I mean YouTube is growing every single day and these content creators are getting more and more uh, internet famous and thus you know real life famous I mean it, it translates directly there's a correlation the bigger you're following on the internet the more famous you are in real life this thing is it's inevitable it's going to happen so you either gotta suck it up and deal with it or just don't watch it you know what I mean just just don't watch it it's up to you so that's all I have to say about it uh, if you don't like YouTube drama and you don't like Heemstar don't watch him you know uh, he is good for the community in my opinion uh yes there are some things maybe he attacked one of your favorite content creators and i would understand you know if, if he came out with a thing saying like oh nade shot is br breaks up with jenna and you know did he cheat on her blah 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 i'd be like oh that's kind of scummy you know like you're kind of ruining his life by you know putting him in the limelight and this and that or whatever but you have to understand that some of these things are important some of the things that he's reporting on like i said before are important um you know d d 27 year olds dming you know d girls on twitter who are you know 16 17 years old asking for nudes things like that those things need to be reported on um uh, and you know keemstar is the person to do it and that's why people hate him um but 
nonetheless, long story short, I support Drama Alert. I support Keemstar. I hope he continues doing what he's doing. The fact that he has 1.4, 1.5 million subscribers proves that people support him. People like to watch his videos. He is entertaining and he is doing us a service uh, in the YouTube community and in the gaming community uh, and in the Call of Duty community, whatever. He's doing us a service. It's entertaining. So either watch it or don't. It's up to you. But drama on YouTube is nothing new. It's been here since before Keemstar. Uh, and I don't think that it's a big deal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you drop a comment down below telling me what you think of Keemstar. What you think of Drama Alert. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Whether or not you agree with me. It's whatever. Um, make sure you leave a rating on the video. I would really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm New York out. Peace. Also, really quick, uh, I just wanted to add that if you guys aren't following me on social media, make sure you go in the description below and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, wherever, Facebook, anything. All the links are always in the description below. Uh, make sure you follow me, especially on Twitter and Instagram. I'm always on Twitter and Instagram, talking to fans, responding to fans, asking polls, asking what videos you guys want to see. So if you guys want to be engaged with this channel even more, make sure you drop down in the description below. Check out my social media links, and uh, you know it would be really beneficial to me, and it gives you guys an opportunity to give your input on the channel, whether you want to see GTA or Call of Duty or whatever. Um, you know, and plus there's some stupid, silly things that I like to post on Twitter as well so hopefully I'm entertaining to you guys over there as well uh, and also I post some really cool like mini promo montage videos that go up on my Twitter and Instagram for new videos um, so you know it really you know they're just cool little 15 second things that I like to put together with some music and I think that a lot of people like them I think so you know you, you'll be able to catch those when they come out as well so yeah there's a lot of stuff in my social media links in the description below make sure you even check get, ch check those mother out uh, and yeah thanks guys peace